What's up fellow collectors, Comic Coalition here for another video for you guys today. I just got done smashing some Wendy's and I'm about to go to Toys R Us. My friend Chris let me know that it's now 15% off so I'm going to check that out. Maybe I'll find something. I highly doubt it but it's worth the try no doubt. No doubt worth the try. So about to go there see what they have but first like I've been telling y'all I got all this backed up footage man all this backed up footage I want to like go back in, in time something like a toy time machine no pun intended but yeah no pun intended but shout out to the toy time machine Go check them out. Go check their YouTube channel out. Very dope channel. But yeah, I'm going to take you back in time and show you my first encounter with the Han Solo movie Lego sets that I happened to find early, like a few days before street date at a local Walmart. So you guys check that out and I'm going to make my way to my destination. And then see what we can find. Right, now I'm looking at this box and it says do not do not put on the shelf before April 13th. So I'm thinking it's Han Solo stuff. But when I get inside, it's not Han Solo stuff. In fact, it looks as if it's Incredibles Lego sets. That's what's up, but it's a junior set. So, that's a, once again, here we have some Han Solo Lego sets, it looks like. <clears throat> we still have a few more boxes to go. Look at this Range Trooper. Getting lucky on these Star Wars Lego sets. And here's Han Solo. I don't collect these. I do collect Legos a little bit, but... I don't collect these type of Legos, so yeah. yeah. Legos like one of the sets that I really want. Now, mind you, these aren't supposed to be out till April the 13th, so who knows if I'll be able to buy it or not. But it's here in my face. Now, take a little look see at what I have here. Yes, I got out of there with it before street date. You can too. All you have to do is simply say no to street dates. That's all. If you go to the register, they ring up your toy, your action figure, your Marvel Legend, your Star Wars Black Series, your Lego, your, your Funko Pop, and they tell you, oh, this is street date and we can't sell it to you. Simply say no to street dates. Really happy about this. Um. I'm not sure if I buy any of the other Lego sets from this movie. I might. Who knows if I get a good price on them like I did on this one. But yeah, you know, I, I got to get at least one from the movie. At least one. And only if I can get my hands on it early. But let me know in the comments below. If you comment below and let me know that you want to go ahead and grab. I mean, if you want to see a review for this Lego set, drop a comment below and I can crank out a review for you guys. Doesn't really appear to be much worthwhile as far as the Funko um, Pop display goes. Surprisingly, they actually got in some Incredibles 2 stuff. And it is indeed 15% off now. No new two packs here, but I got the Infinity War wave, 15% off. So when I was looking through the two packs, I guess I accidentally passed over one. Alright, so now it's a new day. 
I'm about to head back over to Toys R Us once again. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. I believe I did. Maybe I didn't. But Toys R Us is supposed to be getting the truck in today. Possibly Ant-Man 2-pack on that truck. If so, I definitely want to grab that. It's 15% off there right now. Who knows what new stuff they might have on that truck. I'm already running late. I really need to get there at opening, but it's like going to be like 1 o'clock by the time I get there. So everything might be wiped out. Maybe they didn't get a truck. Who knows? I have no idea, but hoping and keeping my fingers crossed to find something. I mean, I'm not sure, but yeah. I've, I've been passing on that Vision and Scarlet Witch 2-pack. I already have a Scarlet Witch figure. I need a Vision figure. Don't get me wrong. I want a two-pack, but it's just a thought that it it could possibly be there when it goes down in price more. That makes me want to wait. Um, but that Ant-Man two-pack, man, my fingers are itching for it, man. I don't know why. I Something about Ant-Man lately just... I'm really digging the Ant-Man Ant figures just in general. Just because, I mean, he's Ant-Man. So it's like, you could take your um your regular toy photography with him and scale him up with your six inch figure, with your six inch figures. Or you could just take pictures of him anywhere, you know? And it still looks right because he's Ant-Man. He could be shrunken down. So you could go in your backyard and just take a picture of Ant-Man on your swing set around some trees and nothing about that looks off because it's Ant-Man so that's why I'm really digging Ant-Man figures I really need to get an SH figure arts Ant-Man from the movie and I'm really loving the looks of the new Ant-Man figures from Infinity um, War Wave 2 I'm not sure if I'll complete that wave but I gotta get Ant-Man the Wasp for sure and I don't know that night that night looks badass, man. I can't lie. Um, I'm not really familiar with that character, but that night looks badass. Comes with all those different head sculpts. Um, possibly army build him, and um, you know, in my my in my toy photography, I tell my own stories. He might not be that actual character from the comic books for me. I might just have three or four different nights going in. Who knows? We'll see what's gonna happen with that. But I'm about to head to Toys R Us. I forgot to ask you guys, are any of y'all watching the NBA playoffs? Um, if you don't know, I'm really big into sports. I'm a Georgia guy, so I usually root for Georgia teams. I'm more of a football guy, so I love the Atlanta Falcons. Diehard Atlanta Falcons fan. Love the Georgia Bulldogs. When it comes to basketball, I don't feel like a real sense of loyalty to the Atlanta Hawks, but when they're in the playoffs, of course, I'm going to root for them. But, I mean, I really don't have no horse in this race. I'm not a LeBron fan. I hated LeBron's guts when he was in Miami. But I liked him once he came back to Cleveland. I like watching history get made. I like watching greatness. I would like to see him go um, to the finals this year. Which, I mean, usually, honestly, at the beginning of the season, I thought it was straight up. We all know what it's going to be. Cleveland Warriors, once again. I'm not too sure right now. Cleveland's not looking that great, and honestly, I believe Houston could beat the Warriors. I would like to see Houston beat the Warriors, and if that's the case, I would like to see Houston win the championship. If not, I would like to see LeBron win the championship. I don't want to see the Warriors win again. I'm going to be honest, but if you're a Warriors fan, I, don't hate me, okay? Just don't hate me. It's all sports. You know, it's all is fair in love and war, okay? And sports. But yeah, just want to let I want to ask you guys that. So let me know in the comments below if you are watching the playoffs. And if so, who's your team? Who's your favorite player? All that good stuff. So I don't see any new two packs. All I see is this. It sucks. I see some new mini mates. So yeah, it sucks that Toys R Us is a no-go, <clears throat> or that it was a bust, but it is what it is. I won't stop trying, that's for sure. I'm about to head back to the house now. 
and I'll check in with you guys once I get there. All right, I'm now back home, and before I bring it into this video, I wanted to show you guys my Target exclusive Han Solo pop. I'm really digging it. Probably not going to get the regular Han Solo pop because I got this one. I'm wondering what's going on with the goggles. I know I keep seeing Chewbacca with the goggles and stuff, so really interested in finding out about that. Now, you know every Star Wars pop comes on this little Star Wars stand. So, when I do my little toy photography or my Funko photography, I usually take my Star Wars Pops off of these little Star Wars stands. Now, when I try to take this guy off the stand, look what happened. Look at that. Funko! Funko, Funko, Funko. What is up with this, bruh? What is up with this? Is this something that happens in the movie? Is this something we don't know about? Every Breaking news right now. You know, in every Star Wars movie, someone usually lo loses a hand. They lose a limb. Han Solo this whole time had a robot foot. And that's something that you will soon find out in Solo, a Star Wars story. Coming to a theater near you. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to stay tuned for more as I drop breaking news on every single movie coming out this summer. And right here, you heard it here first from the Comic Coalition. Han Solo has a robot foot. And Funko, you need to work on your quality control, please. But yeah, I hope you have a good day, YouTube.